door hole? It goes right there. See, I drew it with a magic marker. You were supposed to cut it out with the power saw. Dude, I'm gonna. Oh, really? Yes. So go get the power saw. Okay, I will. I see the problem. Oh, do ya? Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Edwin Crockett. And I'm Sam Hostetter. Today is Wednesday, April 11th. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. Every day, perfectly good food is being wasted in the school cafeteria, but there is a solution. One problem is that people don't know about the care center, you know? The fridge and the cafe by the food lines. But Mrs. Berkey's culinary classes are working hard to solve this problem. But they need your help. And if you know what can be shared, try to use it more often. And if, you, and if you're not sure, ask around or help someone who hasn't used it. It only takes a few seconds to keep your unwanted shareable items from ending up in a landfill. Stay tuned for more updates on the share center. Look out for more items that are shareable. Give it a try. Send me to Washington this November. This announcement is for any student who is taking the AP exam and still owes a balance for their test fees. Please stop by the counseling office and drop off your payment ASAP as final payments are due Friday, April 13th. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Dutzler. Now over to Gerald with the news. Hey, the news is on! And that's the way the news goes! The World Health Organization, also known as the WHO, has stated that no less than 500 people from the eastern Ghouta suburb of Damascus have shown symptoms and conditions indicating that they have been attacked with gas weapons. The proof to put one party at fault for the attacks has not yet been established. Additionally, a military plane crash in Algeria near the capital city, Algiers, has left several dead, potentially reaching a death toll of over 200. Officially, casualty statistics, as well as a full report detailing the cause of the crash, have yet to be released by the Algerian government. On this day in history, Apollo 13, the third lunar mission, was launched in 1970. If you've seen the awesome movie with Tom Hanks, Toy Story as well, you'd know that the mission was doomed quickly. An oxygen tank exploded on the ship, and the oxygen in the command module also began to leak out. The crew had to try and survive the journey home in the landing module with limited air, water, and electricity. Miraculously, through the quick problem solving of the crew and NASA scientists, all three astronauts made it back down to Earth safely. Now, over to the uh, main couch with the lunch. Hey, yo, what up? For lunch today, we got uh, chicken fries on a, on a whole, with a whole grain roll. <laughs> Mountaineer double cheeseburger. A uh, garden burger, this time on a whole grain roll. Italian hoagie. P P <laughs> PBM sandwich with yo yogurt or string cheese. Taco salad. I'm too far gone. Ro roasted zucchini. Coleslaw. And, uh, seasoned corn. Red pepper strips and dip. Pineapple chunks, fresh fruit, or slushy. Capital Sports. Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Gaston. And I'm the Beast. Gary! Uh, I was just looking for the Sports Channel, Gary. In sports resorts, baseball lost last night versus LS 4-2. Boys lacrosse beat Kick Alico 14-2 14 to 12. Tennis lost 4 to 3 at Conestoga Valley. CV lost versus Mannheim Central, and girls lacrosse lost 13 to 5 versus Kikalico. Today in sports, baseball is away at Donegal. Tennis is home versus McCaskey, and softball is home versus Lebanon. Ben Simmons is rookie of the year. Now back to the main couch. Just a reminder: be sure to reserve your tickets for this year's musical as they are selling fast. I can assure you. You can go to tinyurl.com/effortattheater to reserve seats up until midnight today. 
and then pay and pick them up during box office hours. The box office will be open from 5 to 7 Monday and Tuesday this week. Doesn't really help now. And uh, two hours prior to the start of each show. The box office is located in the lobby of the auditorium. Mrs. Ludwig will also be selling tickets in room 233 on Tuesday and Wednesday after school. You will need to have your money with you at, the, at that time to purchase tickets on those days. Attention students of Ephrata High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of student council per grade to represent our student body. And students you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 137. You need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or your petition will be voided. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation basically saying that you would be a great leader, hard worker, and well represent our school. But you can't ask Mr. Marzok, Mrs. Eshelman, or Senior Cerullo because they are the student council advisors. Elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. So stop down to see Mr. Marzok and get your petitions and teacher recommendation turned in by Friday, April 13th. Come see, uh, Beauty and the Beast. Come see that yeah. one, this one, one, that one, me. That one. Come see Mary this in the one. pit playing, yes. playing the trumpet. Come see Jeremy Bishop working the soundboard in the oh. back. Woo! Ma chère mademoiselle, it is with deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you tonight. And now, we invite you to relax, let's pull up a chair, as the dining room proudly presents your dinner. Be our guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. Tie your 